Hi, this is King of Review. Find the sum of the geometric sequence 2, negative 4, 8, negative 16, and the sequence continues until you get to the last term, which is negative 256. So this problem deals with a geometric sequence. A geometric sequence is a sequence or list of numbers or terms where the ratio of any term to the previous term is constant. So each of these numbers here is a different term. This first term is called A1. The second term is called A2. And this naming pattern continues. The third term is A3. The fourth term is A4. And this last term here is A sub I'm going to put a question mark here, a sub some number here, because we're not sure which term this is, but we do know that it's the last term. And this problem wants us to find the sum of this geometric sequence. Now a common ratio can be determined here by looking at how we get from one term to the next. So to go from 2 to negative 4, we would multiply by a negative 2. And to go from negative 4 to 8, we would multiply by a negative 2. And to go from 8 to negative 16, we'll multiply by a negative 2. So you can see this pattern here. To get to the next term, you must multiply the previous term by negative 2. Negative 2 is the common ratio. We can also determine the common ratio using this equation here. R equals A2 divided by A1. A2 is negative 4 and A1 is 2. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So negative 2 is the common ratio. You can choose other terms to determine the co common ratio. So let's choose a 4 in the numerator, and the denominator must be the previous term. So if a 4 is in the numerator, the previous term is a 3. a 4 divided by a 3. a 4 is negative 16, and a 3 is 8. Negative 16 divided by 8 gives us negative 2, which is what we found here as well. So the common ratio is negative 2. The first step here is to determine which term this is. We need to determine which term that is so that we can find the sum of this sequence. To do this, we'll use the rule for a geometric sequence. This formula is a n equals a 1 times r to the n minus 1 power. This is the nth term of a geometric sequence with a1 as the first term and r as the common ratio. So let's put in the information that we know. a n equals a1. a1 is this number here. It's the first term in the sequence, so 2, times the common ratio. We solved for the common ratio. That's negative 2 to the n minus 1 power and we know that this is equal to negative 256. So again, we're trying to solve for which term this is. So let's solve for n. The first thing I'll do here is divide by 2 on both sides. So I have negative 2 to the n minus 1 power equals negative 128. Now I want you to think about the property that if two powers with the same bases are equal, then their exponents must be equal. So if we have b to the x power, and this is equal to b to the y power, since these bases are the same, we can set x equal to y. And this is true as long as b is greater than 0 and b does not equal 1. So what we want to do is make negative 128 
have a base of negative 2. So we have negative 2 to the n minus 1 power equals negative 2 to what power? So negative 2 to what power would give us negative 128? So this is 7. Negative 2 to the 7th power gives negative 128. Now we have the same base of negative 2. So now we can set the exponents equal to one another. n minus 1 equals 7. Solving for n, I'll add 1 on both sides. And now I have n equals 8. So now we know that negative 256, this is the eighth term. This is a sub 8. And now we want to find the sum of the first eight terms. To do this, we'll use the sum of a geometric series equation. This is Sn equals a1 times 1 minus r to the n power divided by 1 minus r. So in this case, we're adding up the first eight terms, so n equals 8. So let's do that. Let's fill in this formula with the information that we know. The first term, a1, is equal to 2. So we have 2 times 1 minus the common ratio, which is negative 2, to the nth power. This is 8. This is all divided by 1 minus the negative 2. When we simplify, we get 2 times 1 minus 256 divided by 3. And this is 2 times negative 85, which equals negative 170. So the sum of the first eight terms equals negative 170. Letter A is correct. Thanks for watching.